Well, hello there and happy Sunday. It is Stay Focused Sunday. This is going to be a combined reading of your Stay Focused Sunday. And for this week only, uh, June the 26th and the 27th, your Motivational Monday video combined. I will re We will resume on Wednesday. So if you're looking for a Motivational Monday video on tomorrow, this is it. Come back and watch this. So if you just you know, tuning in saying, oh my God, I didn't set my notifications and I'm just now seeing the Sunday video. But where is the Monday video? For this week and this week only, this is the plan for it to be um, combined. I'm trying to help you all get across this, um, like to finish strong. Because again, expansion, expansion, expansion. That's what we're talking about. That's the theme of this month is expansion because we had that full moon in Sagittarius. Your sign, your role by Jupiter, the planet of expansion. Good luck, good fortune. I'm trying to help you get there. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. If your dreams have become very vivid lately, like all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, I feel like I'm sitting in the movie theater of my own dream. It's just vivid. I remember stuff that I didn't remember before. Oh my goodness. That's because we're moving towards a new moon in Cancer, right? Cancer is ruled by the moon, which is aligned to our feelings, subconscious habits, moods, emotions, okay? So yeah, somebody is really on fire and I love it, love it, love it. Here we go. Lots of fire, fire, fire. And you are a fire sign. Four of Wands, yes. We have the Ace of Wands, yes. We have the Nine of Wands, yes. Somebody is coming through smoking, I love it. Here we have the Queen of Wands, uh-huh. We have the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Cups, right? Somebody is really taking the time to do the work on themselves because you all are really sweethearts. You're really a nice sign. You all are, um, you all are smart, you're caring, you all are deep thinkers. You love to have fun. Somebody can even categorize it as a Sagittarius being wild. You love to travel. You like to explore. You all are very generous. You're idealist. You have a great sense of humor. You actually see things that you want, Sagittarius. You aim for, shoot, boom, you got it, right? People assume that it's luck, but it's not. It's only because you're ruled by Jupiter. And again, by the way, I'm talking to you if you have uh, Gemini, I'm sorry, excuse me, Sagittarius anywhere in your birth chart. So yes, yeah, somebody will be celebrating something very, very soon. So if you've been waiting on some good news, it is because you are ramming through those emotions. Remember, this is the last quarter moon in Aries, but we're in a cycle, that full moon cycle. We're in that cycle of expansion. Remember, the full moon was in Sagittarius. So yeah, so you walking away from energies that you feel like who burned you in your family, who, who burned you in friendships, who burned you in jobs, you're releasing all of that, right? I mean, like, it, you're releasing so much, in fact, that you're going to feel like you hit, like, the jackpot, like, emotionally, like, oh, my God, it just seemed like one good thing is happening for me after the other because you walked away from feelings of being burned, right? Not walking away bitter. Just like, okay, well, you know, it is what it is. Let me just move on, right? And of course, I'm only talking to a remnant of people. It's not going to hit 100% of the people. Some people are still kind of in their feelings, right? Because again, this is requiring, this is going to cause some people to kind of step out of this comfort zone of just trying to adjust. What I mean by that is a mutable sign. Let's say, for instance, in your hurt state, you called up some people and told them, you know, I never trusted someone, so they were phony, they were this, that, and the other. If that person is is on that same low frequency of talk, then yeah, you're going to try to adapt, justify how you really feel. But if you went somewhere and you say, I'm going to isolate myself and I'm going to really talk to source and go within and see, okay, why do I keep attracting certain types of energies to me? Why, is, it has to be me. Right? You ever heard that saying, Sagittarius? Everybody can't be wrong. Okay, you don't even need to buy into that. Like some, every, Everybody can be saying the same thing about you. But who is everybody when every this the everybody that they're talking about is such a small group of people? It can't possibly be everybody. So you can't even buy into that. It's not nine billion people on the planet saying, yes, that's how such and such Sagittarius is. No. Some of you all are going to be celebrating outside of your new home. Some of you all are gonna be celebrating outside of your job. Some of you all are gonna be celebrating just celebrating, right? Because you had to raise your frequency in order to get it. Somebody's going to have a breakthrough just because, again, you're working on your innermost parts of healing yourself. This is about you. We, we don't have control over other people. So here we have the star card and the um, death rebirth. There could be a relationship that's ended. I mean, 
for just period. I mean, it just ended. It's dead. It's never going to be revived. You're never letting them back in your space. They're never letting you back in their space. It's over. Again, you releasing it at a high frequency is going to release sort um, the thing that you've been praying and asking for. Somebody is going to get their rest. And what a great time to get your rest because, again, we're coming up on a new moon. We're coming up on a new moon. New moon energy is rest time. You're resting your mind, right? You may be disappointed in something, but you're sailing away from it. You're like, never again. Never again. But it's not from a hurt space of never again. You got to be real careful with that because when you're hurting, you don't even realize you're bleeding all over other people. And believe it or not, Sagittarius, there's some people who love to see you in that hurt state. They love to be the one that says, why every time? They're, they're counting up every single time. This is why you got to be careful when you're hurting. Some people are counting up every single time you come to them hurt so that they can eventually come back and say, you know, cash in. I was there for you when you needed X, Y, and Z to use it as a guilt trip to hang over your head. That's why when you're hurting and you're bleeding all over the place emotionally, it's best sometimes just to talk to God. That's it. Just talk to God because you don't need that kind of energy coming back in your space. Well, I did this for you and I did that for you, like keeping count because believe it or not, it's contaminating you. So you'll carry that same energy to somebody else who open their open up a space to allow you to come in at their most vulnerable period, right? So again, I'm seeing you having a big compassionate heart because you've done the work on yourself, right? And also, you having a breakthrough. Be grateful that some people cut you off, Sagittarius. And I mean this in the most sincere way. Be grateful for healed people coming across your path who saw that you were bleeding all over the place and the best help that they could offer you was to cut you off. Be grateful for that because sometimes you need to be isolated and everybody, if everybody around you that you're coming across their path is not calling you anymore, isn't reaching out to you or whatever, is it them or is it something that you need to look at within, right? So that's what's the realization that somebody's had. Somebody's like, I'm a really nice person. I'm a really, really kind-hearted, big-hearted person. How can, you, how can anybody see it if you're bleeding all over the place? Because, again, you're trying to adjust to people who have been hurting you for so long, you don't even realize you're hurting people around you, right? Sometimes you need to cut your family off, for real. Sometimes it, it's them. Sometimes you need to cut your own family off because they're the reason why they're... And I'm not... It's not this is not point-finger time. But their, their energy is the reason why you're so contaminated. You can't even see good people around you. And people can't see the good in you. It goes both ways. Sagittarius, you all are really, really good people. I don't need to tell you that. A lot of you all know that. But I'm telling you, when I look at this reading right here, some of you all family have contaminated you so bad and hurt you so bad, you don't even realize you're hurting other people. So people can't see the good in you. Cut them off. If you really want to finish strong, cut them off. Two of Swords. Deal with those repressed emotions. Your ancestors are like, come on now. You got your back face to your emotions. Somebody was being very, very stubborn about the, the fact that they needed some healing. If you have mental health issues, hey, there's no shame in that. Some people's family had literally driven them crazy. That thing is generational. It's like a generational curse. And people keep justifying it. Somebody needs to pop the lid off of it and say, okay, I'm a, I don't care how ugly this thing is, I need to deal with it. If you were labeled the black sheep of the family, consider yourself lucky because you were the one that was brave enough to step out on faith away from the rest of the ones that were being led into a slaughter. You were the one that was able to brave enough, but of course, they're all sitting over here chatting about you. Oh, look at Sagittarius, think they better. They, you know, they 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 got a little lucky, but you know, don't ever forget where you came from. Somebody needs to, as the black sheep, needs to keep walking forward and never look back. Cut them off. Cut them off. If you really, really want to see some expansion, here we have the seven of cups. If you really want to see some expansion, see, it's tempting. Uh, let me help somebody with this, the seven of cups, because this means temptation on every card. Somebody is tempted to, every time you become more successful and good things happen in your life, you go back and try to reconnect to the same people that hurt you, Sagittarius. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you get across this line. Stop going back to the people that hurt you to show them, see, I am successful. I, I, if I can do it, then you can do it too. You're trying to, it's like a person who's like, see, I want the spelling bee. Like it's still a little kid in you that's trying to look for them to validate you when they haven't even, they haven't even looked within themselves to validate themselves. So they're not even healed. 
C, I want a spelling bee. Or C, look, I got a report card. I got all A's on my report card. And the person says, but you didn't get an A+. Plus. And now you got to go back. Your air balloon has been popped. What? You're an adult now. Protect your inner child. If these people who called you a black sheep hurt you and it start ruining all your relationships throughout life, it's them. It's time to get by yourself, talk to source and say, source, how can we fix this? How can I return back to pure consciousness? I know I'm a nice person. I know I'm a nice person, but who do I need to sever ties with? What is it in me that I need to sever ties with? So when you sever ties with them, you're also severing ties with the emotions that they cause as a child. The hurt, the pain, the disappointment, the rejection. Right? Yeah. Some of them ostracized you, pulled you out of everything and compared you. You weren't pretty enough. You, it just, it's too much. It, it's, a, it's a lot. It was just a very vicious cycle that somebody had to start with, unfortunately. But again, I see you moving forward. I see you moving forward. So here we have your dreams need a practical plan. That's right. I see expansion all over you, Sagittarius. Expansion all over you. Somebody's not ready to give up their family. That's why I said I'm only talking to a remnant of people, but I do see somebody celebrating because somebody's been waiting on to hear back about their new housing, new apartment, new home, waiting on hearing back about money or something you've been waiting to hear back about. Um, and that's the energy of money, by the way. Or somebody's been waiting to hear back some kind of good news. The moment you decided, okay, I need to get by myself, it, it was somebody in your life that caused you to just hit a full stop. A full stop. Somebody in your life that you didn't realize you were hurting, and it didn't seem like it was that bad to you because that's the that's a, that's a layer that you have um, built up, Sagittarius. It didn't seem like it was that bad to you, but for them, because their spirit is so sensitive, it could be somebody who's a healer, you know, whose energy is so sensitive to everything around People have been taught that sensitivity is a bad thing. But if, if what if you were insensitive or desensitize other people, right? Because somebody's been doing it to you for so long or so many people in your family have been doing it for you. So you, somebody came up against a healer. I'm seeing right here that healer. Somebody came up against somebody who is healed and a actively a healer. And so, but you, if you've been conditioned to believe, well, why I would never leave them if they, if I saw, you know, my friend was hurting or I saw that my significant other was hurting, I would never leave them like that. Yes, why wouldn't they? They love you enough, and I'm talking about agape love. They love you enough to walk away and save themselves because you have it in you. Their actions spoke louder than their words. Who wants to stay in a relationship where it's just constant confusion and chaos? Right? They love you enough agape love to walk away from you so that you can find the light within yourself. And that's what you'll be teaching other people. I don't have to stay here and continue being hurt. That's how you're going to move in all of your relationships. So, yeah, a new start is coming. Somebody's going to be very happy with this new start that's coming. So, yeah, don't, don't say anything negative about anybody who may have left to save themselves. They were teaching you how to look within your own light and make some adjustments. Yes. Love it. Here we have journal. That's right. The number 11, stepping into your own light. Stepping into your own light. Somebody may start journaling, you know, like um, documenting their dreams. Because like I said, your dreams may become very, very busy, Sagittarius. It's time to write them down. What does this mean? Talking to source. Source, what does this dream mean? I saw myself, you know, doing X, Y, and Z. My mind is blown. Why, why did I have that dream? Like, I saw myself celebrating outside of something. How come I had that kind of dream? Source was like, I'm trying to tell you. That's what's about to happen in your life. Well, how is it going to happen, Source? Let me just blow your mind. You just go with the flow. All You, you took it. You did what you needed to do. You severed ties with some family members and the pain attached to what they did to you. And so, boom, I'm getting ready to open up some doors for you that nobody can shut. Okay, that's what I have for you, uh, Sagittarius, and I will see you all on Wednesday. That, and, and remember, Wednesday is a new moon, start of a new moon in Cancer, okay? So yes, let those vivid dreams flow, because Source is going to show you everything you need to see. Who you need to cut off, what's in your future as a result of you sacrificing those energies, and everything, right? So yeah, some doors about to open for you that nobody, I don't care what people have said about you in the past, that nobody can stop or block. That's what I have for you. Bye.